Hi everyone, good morning. It's 601 here on a Tuesday. We're taking a live look right now of Spokane Valley on I-90. You can see there, are, there is some snow still coming down at this hour. Road conditions still a bit icy with snow covered roads, especially in on the arterials at this hour before crews can get to them and treat them. So give yourself plenty of time. We're keeping a close eye on road conditions all morning long. We'll keep you updated here on the show. Now we do also have some breaking news regarding those road conditions right now. This is at I-90 as well. Um, there is a crash that we were just notified about just moments ago. This looks I-90 eastbound near Division. As you can see here from this traffic camera, traffic is starting to back up just a little bit, and it's definitely because of those road conditions for one and as a result of this crash right here. So if you have to go this way to work or taking your kids to school, just be very careful. Maybe consider finding another route this morning. Well, good morning, everyone. We have a lot to get to on this Tuesday, as you can tell on Up With Creme. I'm Tim Pham. And I'm Channing Curtis. Let's get right over to meteorologist Thomas Patrick, because Thomas, you've been keeping us weather prepared all this week and preparing us for the snow that's coming and this drastic drop in temperatures that we're experiencing as well. Yeah, want to keep those two weathers, uh, those weather implications pretty much at the front of hand for this week with the snow happening right now, taking the most precedent at the moment. Winter weather advisories for Spokane, but the more severe winter storm warning criteria for Coeur d'Alene, all of North Idaho, as well as the Palouse region, where up to six inches or more of snow is possible in those locations. Spokane, we're kind of calling for three to five inches of that powdery snow. It's easy to plow and it's easy to shovel, but it's still coming down pretty heavily. Look at some of these latest frames on Doppler radar. Look at how dark those blue shades over are over uh, directly over Spokane right now. So that snow is coming down very heavily, even though it is a powdery snow, but that just means it's going to add up very quickly. So even if you are shoveling or plowing early on this morning, the snow is coming down just as quickly. So those snow covered roads will continue to be that way for several hours and not just during the morning hours through a better portion of the day today. Spokane expecting some snow through about two, three or four o'clock this afternoon. So that's the snow side of things. And of course, the coldest weather is still yet to come. Come and it's bitterly cold out this morning, but we're expecting wind chills down to around minus 30 for the next three straight nights as we are currently under wind chill watches beginning this evening. All right, this morning we do have a few school delays and closings to report to you. Here is the current list right now. West Valley School District is on a two hour delay and so are these schools. Central Valley, La Crosse and Pullman School Districts on a two hour delay as well as the Genesee School District. They are actually closed. So because of the snow, Steptoe School District buses are running two hours late today and the Colfax School District buses there are running on emergency routes, but they tell our team that the school and buses are running at their normal times just on their emergency routes. Now the passes are also expected to get slammed with some heavy snow this week. Right now, chains are required on all vehicles except for those with all wheel drive for both directions of I-90 through Snoqualmie Pass. WashDOT has crews working around the clock and they've been doing so since November 1st, just making sure that the roads are as maintained as possible. I-90 does remain open at this time, but WashDOT says that closures do come as a result of spinouts, crashes, and just generally people not heeding their advice. This year and last year, more than any other years, we've really seen drivers just not obeying the chain of requirements, just thinking they can get over the pass on bald tires or not chaining up. And they're really the ones that kind of close it for everyone. We'll take a look at this video right now. This semi truck fire actually forced delays on I-90 eastbound near North Bend yesterday. Westbound lanes of I-90 were also shut down for hours on Sunday after a semi crash near Ellensburg. Now also this morning on Stevens Pass, chains are currently required on all vehicles except for those with all wheel drive. There is some compact snow and ice on the roadways there, so be careful if you're driving out on Stevens Pass this morning. Meanwhile, on Lookout Pass and 4th of July Pass, the Idaho Department of Transportation is reporting some snow and some slick pavement in the area. Right now, though, there are no restrictions in place. Well, expect extra delays traveling home for the holidays. This week, WashDOT released its holiday travel charts showing the best and worst times to hit the roads. So take a look here. If you're traveling on I-90 over Snoqualmie Pass, expect heavy traffic leading up to the weekend. The worst traffic congestion, though, expected on Monday after Christmas. 
If you are traveling between Stevens Pass and Skykomish, you should also expect heavy congestion on Friday. Again, the busiest day for traffic on these passes also on Monday. WashDOT is asking travelers to plan ahead and save time and frustration. So earlier this month, we reported on plows that were being hit by vehicles at least three times this season alone. So here are a few quick reminders on how to safely drive near a plow. Remember to give the plows plenty of room. You should avoid passing or tailgating them and watch out for that cloud of snow or water spray that the plows create because it can block your own sight of the roads.